Hey everybody, welcome to Seven Greens Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. You guys, I could not resist. I had to come out here so I can show you some of this new stuff that's happening. Um, the first thing that I want to point out to you is look at this pumpkin. This pumpkin is stretching out all the way over here now. Look at that. And he's traveling all the way over, over there. <laughs> and he's coming out right here. That's just so crazy. But you guys, look at this. I've got two pumpkins right here. Two pumpkins. And that vine is separating and going that way too. Look at all this. There's no way. No way we can walk through here at all. Because of those other squash, they just all went crazy. But I wanted to show you just how good this pumpkin is doing. And if you guys remember that tomato plant that volunteered right here, it's still right here. It grew, came up with that corn stalk and it's still growing. It's still there. I just noticed that cucumber. Let's see if I can get it closer. There. See that cucumber? There's two of them hanging over there. I'm gonna have to get them off of there. I harvested stuff yesterday, but I never, I didn't see those there. Anyways. So yeah, this pumpkin is doing really good. And I wanna show you guys this other pumpkin over here. Look at that. That's one of those Jardale pumpkins. I think I'm saying that right. It's, it's a decent little size there. And then there's this white one. This one is called Super Moon pumpkin. And only one on that vine. And then there's this one. This one is supposed to be a Cinderella or fairy tale pumpkin. As you can see, my leaves are starting to get powdery mildew on them. On some of them. And then look at this pumpkin. It stretched way over here, almost to my crepe myrtle tree. That is nicely trimmed right now. <laughs> From my product review video that I did. But what I really wanted to show you guys is this. Check this out. Look at this. That is Malabar spinach. And look, it is just going up, 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 up. And it's almost, almost to the top of this bamboo. <laughs> and it has these little berries or something. I don't know what that is, but it has it on there. And then look, I just go down a little further. And look at this. This is a cotton bulb. And I guess when it's finished bacon in there, it's going to pop open. And that's where the cotton is going to be. Isn't that crazy? And there's two of them there. And then I have one on this plant right here. And then there's one on the plant over, over there. So... Unfortunately, my rice didn't come up, but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna try again, I'll try again next time. And then all these beans, the beans on these bean plants. Look at that. I mean, that's just so pretty. Now, I don't know if this cuca melon is gonna actually put on anything. It had put on some flowers, but then I guess it was too hot and they fell off. So I'll see. It'd be interesting. It'd be the first time that I actually got some cuca melons. I planted some a couple of years in a row, but they just never produced anything. That little bell pepper. <laughs> Right now, it feels like fall. 
I can feel the change in the weather. It's getting dark earlier, but also it just has a little bit of edge to it. Not quite warm like how it was before. Look how big these spinach leaves are. So yeah. And then all these tomatoes we harvested, but there's still plenty more hanging on here. Look at that. And so I'm excited to get more have even more to eat and then look at these birdhouse gourds look at that and then this cherry tomato this one is the hartman's gooseberry it just put itself right over the top of this trellis it just grew right up along it and attached itself i mean Tomato plants don't have like little grabbers on vines and stuff like that, even though they are a vine. <laughs> but he just made himself at home up on that trellis, which isn't a bad thing, I guess, because that's what he was supposed to do. All the rest of this part of him, I need to pick up and put attached to this trellis like it's supposed to be so I can walk through. Let me back up a little so I can walk through this tunnel area and be able to harvest stuff. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do is get out here and start trying to at least tidy this up a little bit because it's a mess. It is. It's a mess. And I can't even use the excuse of the wind. I just... Like when I harvested these corn, I just left them here and they'll go to the chickens and the chickens will enjoy them. But I missed out on that harvest. There was some, a lot of them that were big ears and they were edible. Like this one is a large ear, very edible at, when I picked it. But now they're all dried out because they just been sitting out here in the sun. So all of those will go to the chickens. I did harvest some of the other corn and those are stored in the freezer. Look at this, you guys, look at this. Now see, this is how I kind of pictured. Okay, all this grass right here was not in my vision. <laughs> I'll make that clear. But, oh, look at that flower, but, what was in my vision was this whole trellis band filled with vines and growth. And for the most part, it is, it is. These beans never climbed. So I'm wondering if they are even what I thought I was planting. I'm not really, I'm not really sure now, but what's interesting is these ones didn't climb and I'm wondering if maybe I got them mixed up with these beans. Look at this. This one I think is a bean plant. I'm thinking that's what it is. I don't know because I didn't plant this in here. It's weird. I didn't even plant this or you know what? It could be. No, it's not. I was going to say it could be morning glory because I have a lot of them and I'll show you all over the ground volunteering and popping up everywhere but that is actually that has to be a bean plant I don't know I don't know how it got there I didn't plant any beans alongside this and this was a, a kakuzi squash or gourd uh, because I knew the, the kukuzi would spread out all over and fill this in. Anyways, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> and then this is that roselle and it's starting to put on little buds. So maybe I'm gonna get some flowers and stuff on there. The flowers of that is so pretty. I can't wait for that. 
to finish maturing but yeah so this is all filled in this is that meat uh sweet meat pumpkin i planted over here i don't see any fruit on it yet but i'm thinking it might not be a good thing that it's up on this trellis because i'm thinking they might be pretty big in size but He's doing good, he recovered. Because he wasn't doing so hot at one time when it was hot. <laughs> and I didn't get out here and water him. Yeah, he was not having a good time. So look at this. This birdhouse gourd is just, and I keep trying to correct him and put him back over onto the trellis because he just does not want to be completely on that trellis. Let me see. He's like fighting me because he's attached. Let me get him uh, detached. break him but I'm trying to pin him so the wind don't blow him back down <laughs> and he does not want to cooperate okay okay that's just gonna have to do for right now when I was out here earlier watering Cornelia came out to say hi to the world that is all you see is his butt hanging out right there Sonny, what you doing up there, kitty? You guys, whenever I'm doing these videos, I try my hardest to get out all the car sounds because there's a street and a school right behind my house. <laughs> if you look at the video that I did of the drone footage, yeah, and the ice cream truck decides it wants to go by at the time that I start making the videos or the uh or some of the young guys with the little loud cars and stuff want to burn up and down the street <laughs> and i try and edit that stuff out as much as possible see these are all morning glories down here that volunteered and i see them I'm not going to take them out, though. I'm going to let them stay. At least just for now, I'm going to let them stay. But, oh, I wanted to show you guys back over here. There's a cucumber down there. I think that one is a lemon cucumber, and I believe it's supposed to be yellow, right? <laughs> but it's not yellow yet. <laughs> okay, so another thing I wanted to point out to you guys is this squash. This sweet dumpling squash it grew all the way over here and now it's going down to the ground here but it has it's just covered in fruit <laughs> those probably didn't pollinate good and that's why they shriveled up but there's a lot of them that's not shriveled up on this vine and they're doing very well look at how this tomatoes just exploded in growth over here I mean, it's just a lot of them. I'm excited too, because I want to try all of these. I think this one is Berry's Crazy Cherry. I definitely want to try it. But this is just so pretty right here in this little tunnel way. And sunny is just sitting right there listening to me my sonny <laughs> you'd have to give him some sunny loving right almost every video now you have given sunny loves <laughs> i wanted to show you guys this look at that that is an okra i don't know when i'm supposed to take him off 
but he has gotten doubled his size within a couple of days. I'm gonna probably come out here tomorrow and take him off and try him while he's still small. But that is a success that I am happy with. I don't know if I'm gonna still be happy when I try it. <laughs> I've never had fresh okra. And so, I don't know, maybe I'll I'll do a, a taste review on it. <laughs> I don't know, my face. I can't school my face, train my face in any kind of way because you'll know if I don't like it. It'll show all on my face and in my expression. But that is very interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to get him. It's kind of like furry. <laughs> Looks like I have more figs to come out and harvest. I'm looking at all these other branches. I think that's the only one that's ready right now. It's just that one so far. Everybody else is still green and he is ready. I'm gonna take him in so the birds don't get to him. That's what happened the last time. I was like, oh, I'll just wait and get them later. And then the birds. Came and pecked all of them. Oh, look at this. I have a bloom on this. Oh, I have two. I hope they produce a fruit on these eggplants. I've been waiting. And with the water issue I was having over here, I've been waiting a long time. Is that a tomato? <gasps> you guys. There is a tomato in there. <laughs> Look. There's a tomato. I think that is a Kellogg breakfast tomato, which is my favorite. I didn't even know if he was back here. Let me see. Okay, you guys, my phone kept shutting off, so I don't know how much of this I got. But I found a tomato growing over here. And I believe that this is a Kellogg breakfast tomato and I was all happy and then my phone shut off. <laughs> and then I was trying to show you guys this eggplant over here also has a flower. So hopefully I'll get some fruit on it. It's a different variety. And then look at these tomatoes over here. I'm waiting, I've been watching these. These are cream sausage tomatoes. And I've been watching them waiting. Cause I've never tried these before. And I like the green sausage tomato. I never tried the cream sausage tomato. Look at, there's a tomato down there. Oh, I got tomato over here. I see that one. Oh, that's good. And look at, we got a sunny over here hiding in between. <laughs> look at him. Kitty, you were something else. It just hiding in there. Like that was put there for you. I just wanted to show you a few things that I had out here. And then I'm so glad I had the camera going when I discovered this tomato because I am truly, it truly caught me by surprise. I wasn't expecting that there. It's time for Sonny and I to go in. I gotta make dinner. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos and for leaving comments and clicking like. Uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, Sonny and I. We will see you in the next video. So, as always, God bless. You gonna say bye? <laughs> you can get some sunny loving. <laughs>